fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today to share with you a question that I get asked a lot and that is how do you seal your diamond paintings? The short answer for me is that for most of my diamond paintings I don't seal them. For some of the diamond painting companies if you read the fine print sealing your diamond paintings can sometimes void your warranties so just something to be aware of. However, there are times when I want to seal things. So for instance, one of the times that I want to seal things is when I have what I call off the canvas items. So for instance, this is a compact mirror. And if I'm going to be using this and handling it a lot, I haven't sealed it yet. And the edges are still quite sticky where they applied the glue for the diamonds to stick. So what I would want to do before I put this anywhere or used it would be to seal all of this so that the edges are not sticky, the diamonds will stay where they are, and as it gets handled, the diamonds aren't going to fall off. This is admittedly not as much a concern if you're talking about a diamond painting that's going to be framed and hang on a wall. Uh, but if you don't want to seal your diamond paintings, and like for me, I typically frame mine so they're going to be behind a piece of acrylic or glass so I am not overly worried about dust and dirt and debris getting on them. I typically frame mine pretty quickly after I finish them. If I don't frame them then they're in a portfolio where they're protected from dust and dirt and everything anyway. But if I'm going to frame them then what do I use? Well when I first started diamond painting what I used is this. This is called Crystal Art Sealer and it is by Craft Buddy, which I think is a UK company. I bought this on Amazon. If I can find the link, I will stick it below. When I looked for it last time, because uh, this is like two years old, last time I looked for it, they didn't have it on Amazon. So if I can find the link, I will put it down there. But if you can find it somewhere else, it's specifically made for diamond art, crystal art, and it works really well. And I've used it on both diamond paintings as well as off the canvas stuff, and I've never had an issue. You can use all kinds of things to seal, but this crystal art sealer and Mod Podge are what I have used. Now, like I said, there's all kinds of things that you can use. I know people use like the Tombow glue. I've heard of people using Elmer's glue. Like the Mod Podge, Elmer's glue, you have to water it down. So when I used the Mod Podge, I did a one-to-one -one mix of Mod Podge and water just to make it a little bit thinner. There's all different kinds of sealers out there. I know, I know some people who've used spray-on sealers. You can do whatever you want. The question is, one, for a lot of people, again, like I said, it can void your warranty. And two, if you're not careful about what the kind of quality is that you're using, the product that you're using, it can possibly yellow with age. So how do you seal a diamond painting? Well, with the Crystal Art Sealer, you basically just brush it on. So I just have an old paintbrush that I happen to have. It's nice and wide, it's very soft. This has actually been used to seal several projects. I just use a very gentle dish soap to wash the brushes. You can see they're very, still very nice and flexible. And then I just brush on the sealant. You can also get brushes like this. I've seen these come with Mod Podge. I think I got this one from a diamond painting company, but you can see very soft bristles. When you mix up your Mod Podge, the, the mix will be quite runny at one to one. So you just wipe it on and then wait for it to dry. As I said, I've had good luck with both of these methods and I'll be showing you in a bit what my success looks like. The one thing that I will say and a tip that someone gave me is that once you have applied the sealer, especially if it, you've put it on a little bit thicker than maybe you intended, you can use baby wipes and just use baby wipes to go over the tops of the drills. You don't wanna to scrub too hard because you don't want to take off all of the sealer that you've gotten you know, in between the drills that will help hold them in place and also cover up all the other stickiness that you didn't place drills on. You don't want it to be on top of your drills because that may dull the shine of your drill. So you just take a baby wipe and kind of wipe over the top of your drills to get that small layer of sealer off the top of it because where you want the sealer is down in between all the drills. You don't really want it on top. So I've had really good luck using both of those. I, like I said, I don't tend to seal 
actual diamond paintings, but I have sealed quite a few off the canvas items and I've had good luck with them. I've sealed a wooden box, I sealed a pencil case, I've sealed a pencil holder. Uh, I'm gonna be sealing this. I've done journals. You know, you can buy those journals that have diamond paintings on the cover. I've had good success with all of those. I have used these on actual diamond paintings and I'm gonna show those to you. And both of these diamond paintings, one has been sealed for over two years almost and the other one is almost a year. So I'm gonna show you what they look like and we'll look at them and discuss the yellowing and all of that. So don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. All right, so this is my canvas that I sealed with the crystal art sealer. And because for a while, that's all that I had. I actually hadn't tried the Mod Podge at this point. This canvas is probably almost two years old. I did this for a DP Sea Creatures event, I think, a couple of years ago. The entire painting is not sealed, but it does have these special drills kind of all over, and there's some pearls down at the bottom on his back. And so I wanted to seal those to make sure that they didn't move around or go anywhere once I put this in storage because I wasn't going to frame this one. So let me move this sideways because it's quite long so you can see where the pearls are. So you can see here the pearls on the back as well as these big round drills, special drills, and I sealed each of those. So I just took my brush and I brushed my sealer over each of these and then wiped them with the baby wipe. So you can see there's no film on top of these drills, special drills making them milky. Let me zoom in a bit. So hopefully you can see here, these drills are not at all, you know, less shiny because I put sealant on them. Little, little harder to tell because these are just pearls anyway, but you can tell here that they're um, not milky or dull at all after putting the sealer on and that's because I wiped them off with the baby wipe afterward. If I remember, I'll try and get some close-ups. Now, this one is, like I said, almost two years old, I think. And you can see, and again, I'll try and get some close-up pictures, around where each of the drills is, you can see a little bit of the background because they didn't chart drills or completely around each special drill. But there's been no yellowing. You can still see part of the canvas underneath there, but that's because of what was pre-printed on the canvas that doesn't have anything to do with the sealer. So I've been really happy with the Crystal Art sealer. If I could find it, I will buy some more. Um, it does get a bit thick as it ages. I wanted to get a new bottle because, you know, after two years, maybe it's just not the greatest. It probably works fine. I haven't sealed anything for a while, so I may thin that out with some water too and try it. But as you can see, you know, two, two years in and it looks great. So the other one that I want to show you is the one that I sealed with Mod Podge. And the one that I sealed with Mod Podge, I sealed the whole diamond painting. So let me go grab that one and I'll be back to explain and we'll take a look. All right, so I grabbed this one out of my medium sized portfolio and you can see I've already mounted it. This is a seahorse that I got from Crystal Canvas Art Design. And you can see it's still nice and bright. The rhinestones are nice and sparkly. And I'll try to put some B-roll in here to kind of show you what it looks like. I'm gonna turn this one to the side too because he's just a bit long for everything to fit. Again, I don't normally seal my diamond paintings. The reason that I sealed this guy is because I was having trouble with some popping drills. And I knew that I was going to be putting it in my portfolio and I didn't want anything to fall out while it was in the portfolio. So I took some Mod Podge and I have the gloss. Don't recommend the matte, but you can do what you want. They also have, I think, a glitter one that I've seen some people use. So I used the gloss and I mixed it one-to-one, -one, like I said, and then I just brushed it on with the brush because what you wanna do is get the sealant down in between where all the drills are to one, get rid of all this stickiness that might remain from any glue or adhesive, and two, to kind of cement your drills into place so that they're not gonna be moving around. This one is almost a year old, and granted it has not been out like in sunlight or whatever, it's been in my portfolio, but the colors have not dulled, nothing has yellowed. It looks just like it did when I put it in the portfolio. Zoom in, and you can see here that the colors are just as vibrant as they were. Let me turn this around the other way so maybe you guys can see a little bit better. Now, one of the things to remember when you 
seal it is that your diamond painting is not going to be as flexible. You can't really roll this up the way that you could a diamond painting that hasn't been sealed. It will add that kind of layer of stiffness to it. But if you're just going to be framing it or sticking it in a portfolio, you know, I didn't think that mattered and it hasn't mattered to me. And it has kept my drills from popping off and, you know, making a mess inside the portfolio. So I think it's been really great. And like I said, you know, even close up, there's been no yellowing of any of the drills. Again, once I put the Mod Podge on, I then went back over everything with a baby wipe and I would do mine in sections. So like I would just pick a third of the painting, paint the Mod Podge on with my brush and then I would go back over it with the baby wipe. And then while that section was drying, I would move it down, go to the next section, repeat until I was finished. It really doesn't take very long. Of course, you can always use a bigger brush than what I had. I've seen people use sponges. I mean, you could literally use, you know, whatever you want to just put it on here. And again, make sure that you wipe it off with either a damp rag or a baby wipe to kind of make sure that you're getting all of the sealant off the top of your drill so that they remain nice and sparkly. You can, of course, frame your diamond paintings after sealing it, if that's what you want to do. Like I said, I typically don't seal mine and mine just go in portfolio, so I don't spend a lot of time doing it, but I have sealed them. And I've had good success with the two methods that I've used. So I will put links in the description below to all of the things. I will put links to the Mod Podge and the Crystal Art Sealer if I can find it. Like I said, I bought mine on Amazon and I couldn't find it last time I went to go look for it. Uh, I will put links to both of these canvases if I can find them. I don't know if they're still in stock or not, because again, these are both a couple of years old, but they're seahorses and who doesn't love seahorses? And they're both pretty. So, so there you go, guys. That is how I seal diamond paintings if I'm going to seal them. I hope this answered a lot of your questions. If I didn't answer everything, please drop me a comment down below and let me know what I missed and I'll see if I can answer it for you. If not, consider joining my Facebook group. There are lots of us over there and if I don't know an answer, somebody in the group probably does or one of us can find it. That's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching.